So today's topic is going to be culinary herbs. I'm not going to go into depth with any of these because most of you are familiar with them. Most of you cook. I'm just sharing with you what we're starting in our garden. Cilantro is going to be the first one I'm going to show you. I don't like it at all. But Erin loves it. So I have all of these that I'm going to start. I am an avid seed saver. So I have like bags and bags of cilantro seeds. He puts it fresh on everything. He likes it in salsa. I am planting extra so I can freeze dry it to save for him for later in the year. Because we do live in a very hot zone. We're in 9B and most of these things will go to seed far beyond when it will in a different zone. The stuff's gross. I won't touch it without gloves. He loves it. I can freeze dry it or dehydrate it. So if you don't have a freeze dryer, don't panic. You can also preserve it. Next up is oregano. This is just what I have. Like I said, I shopped in my own seeds this year as to not purchase anything because I have so much that needs to get used. These are another one that is a crossover between a medicinal and a culinary herb. It's delicious and it has antibiotic properties. So this is one for you to look into if you want to do further research on that. Deal. Deal, we love. Again, several packets. I'm going to plant this one in excess. We use tons of it fresh. We use it when I make our pickles. And we make a pickle flavored pickled quail egg. Those are really popular. And we like to use fresh when we have it. But I also like to preserve it for later in the year when I'm making those pickled quail eggs. Because we like to provide as many products from our yard that we possibly can in the things that we sell. I'm also planting excess because the black swallowtail butterflies that come into our yard are amazing. They love the deal. I'm willing to sacrifice however much deal they want. And... I'd rather have more than enough for everybody if the, it, <sighs> it's a long day. If the bugs aren't eating it, then you shouldn't be eating it either. That's always a little tidbit that's handed out to gardeners. You don't, We try not to use any chemicals, pesticides, anything like that. Yes, I know everything is made of chemicals. You know the chemicals I'm talking about. We're, we're not talking about, you know, all that. Anyway, continuing. I said this was going to be quick and I'm, it's going to be a lot. I'm doing a lot of parsley this year. Another one, fresh or dried. I'll probably freeze dry it. Also going to plant as much as they can. Black swallowtail butterflies. Love this one. Last year they ate it down three or four times. It always came back. It's actually still hanging around because I grew it in a shady spot. So this plant's going on like three years. I'm going to plant more. I am doing basil and cumin. Are coming I'm not sure I'm not sure how you pronounce that one don't laugh at me it's another one that crosses over between medicinal and culinary it works well in soups and curries and it's also great for inflammation so that might be another one you want to do some research on and then some new ones I'm trying now if you look at the seed packet it doesn't look very new I got these from MI Gardener probably two or three years ago when I was on a seed buying binge I think we had bought everything they offered at that time. <laughs> but this is Red Shisho, and I'm going to just read you what's in the back of the packet. It's a Japanese heirloom. It's a spicy herb, perfect for cooking Asian cuisine. With deep red leaves that smell like cinnamon and clove with a spicy flavor like cumin, this is a true showstopper. You can eat just the ceilings tossed into salads or grow them to maturity for more dynamic uses. So we're going to try this one. I did open it and I probably threw some seeds in the ground and didn't didn't pay attention so this year I'll do better and papalo I'm not sure that's how you pronounce it this one's native to Mexico has a dynamic cilantro and peppery arugula flavor closely related <laughs> closely related to the papicha herb they have so many hard words on everything all the time <laughs> It is used similarly to cilantro in most recipes. Can be used as a palate cleanser after meals. I can't imagine anything tasting like cilantro being a good palate cleanser, but we're going to try it. 
So that's some of what I'm starting, majority of it. I will probably do some others, some more different types of basils. I don't know yet. I just plant as I go, but this is the main plan. So I hope that was helpful. I hope you learned about a new herb that you might want to try. If you have any advice or if you know anything about this red shisho or papalo, if you've ever tried it before, let me know if it's worth growing or not. And don't forget to subscribe because I will be coming back and telling you the normal stuff. The beans, the cucumbers, the squash, all that stuff. All right, guys, y'all have a good day.